100 days of signs, wonders, and miracles. I've been studying the life of Christ for the past three years. I've committed to teaching twice a week just on the subject of the life of Christ. When we enter into a study of the miracles and signs and wonders in the Gospels, we discover Christ has power over disease, over death, and yes, over the demonic. Do you have a discerning spirit? Can you recognize the manifestation of the power of darkness in our world today? Tragically, we read about mass killings every single month. It appears occasionally on a weekly basis. Where does this violence come from? A study in the gospel of the demonic activity where Jesus is constantly casting out demons and devils we recognize part of that manifestation is violence. When you see in our world a stirring of hate, anger, rage, and violence, the core is demonic activity. Listen carefully to the study of Matthew chapter 8, where I've been reading this morning. When Jesus arrived on the other side of the lake, two men, who were possessed by demons met him. These men were living in the tombs. They were so violent that no one could go through that area. There are places in cities that are so violent that people are literally afraid to go. I know what it is to be afraid to walk in the dark or to be afraid to walk down a dark alley. But this is beyond that. This is a level of demonic activity where there is a violence that is beyond human imagination. It's quite an interesting study to compare the writings of the, of the Apostle Paul, where he wrote to the church in Galatia about what we call the fruit of the Spirit. You remember the fruit of the Spirit? Kindness, goodness, gentleness, love. Just consider those four attributes of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in somebody's life. In contrast, demonic activity is exactly the opposite. Demonic activity has to do with anger, hate, rage, and violence. The opposite of kindness, gentleness, and goodness. Knowing what you are dealing with. And always remember, Jesus has power over disease, over death, and yes, over the demonic. These two men that were living in tombs, that were so filled with violence, people would not even go through that area. The Bible says in verse number 29, of Matthew 8, the men begin screaming when they saw Jesus. Why? They knew who Jesus was and they were afraid of him. Why are you interfering with us, son of God? Have you come here to torture us before God's appointed time? This happened, there happened to be a large herd of pigs feeding in the distance. So the demons begged, if you cast us out, send us into the herd of pigs. Go, commanded Christ, just like that. Jesus commanded the pigs to come out of the man and immediately the demons came out of the two men. They entered the pigs and the whole herd plunged down the steep hillside into the lake and drowned in the water. Always put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Always know and recognize the source of what is happening. Ask yourself, is this coming from the Spirit of God? Is this coming from heaven above? Or is this activity literally coming from the pit of hell? The demonic activity, whether it's in the garden and we see deception, whether it's temptation in the wilderness of the Lord Jesus Christ, or it enters into the heart of men where they be become possessed with darkness, always can be overcome 
by the power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is giving you the keys of the kingdom. And the Bible tells us later in the book of Acts that Paul and Silas were in the city of Philippi when they came across a young girl that was demon possessed. They cast that demon out. She was fully delivered. How did it happen? By the power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you this glorious day for your goodness and your faithfulness. I thank you that we don't have to live in bitter, broken worlds, that we don't have to be filled with hate, anger, or rage, that our hearts do not need to be dark, but you set us free. You broke the bondage. You delivered each and every one of us. And whether it's a heart that is filled with sin or someone's turned their back literally to worshiping darkness, there is hope.